Oh my god. It's 20 minutes till showtime. And I have to do my hair. I mean, I guess that means today, guys, I'm going to show you how I do my hair for shows. So, hair is a very, very serious thing. You know, it's not a game. You have to only be focused on that thing. There's a really long list of products that you have to have in order to achieve this look. So don't be stressed out about it. If you don't get it the first time, it's fine. The first thing that you need is a little bit of air. Here we'll see, sometimes I like to take some. Just rub it on here, you know what I mean? Just really try to get in the roots. So instead of, you know, doing straightening, curling or anything, I like to just like, And then if I really want to go like for extra fancy occasions, I'll usually do like the um, cow milker. Anyway. And it gets your hair all nice and just roughened up. Um, so now we're going to do part two is hairstyling with Big Rob. Um, <laughs> I am Big Rob's hairstylist. I take my job very, very seriously. I like to put on his sunglasses to really channel my artistry. <laughs> and so basically what we'll usually do with Big Rob is start out brushing his very, very huge mane <laughs> of hair. There's so much, like it doesn't even fit in this room. It gets so knotty and tangled. <laughs> but I like to, <laughs> I like to just brush it out and make sure that it's nice and, nice and <laughs> safe. There we go, beautiful. And then, Usually, because he has so much hair, I like to do like a series of braids all around. And so I'll just braid his hair and I'm just. What was there with? Right here to just hold it all together. That's how he does it. Okay, now all jokes aside. Um, basically, what I do is if I'm having a terrible hair day, like today, like terrible, awful, I'll put on a snapback that like a fan gives me. Or something but mostly what my thing is I guess I wear a lot of bows um, just because I like them and that's kind of my style I like you know dressing really really girly and, and feeling like a princess and all that cheesy stuff now with our choreography and stuff I try to flip my hair and I can't with the bow there so I don't really wear them on my hair as much anymore just because we're usually performing someplace but um, I like to incorporate them into other parts of my style, like I'll wear them as a bracelet, or somebody will give me a bow necklace and I'll wear it, because I think it's still a part of who I am, you know what I mean? Actually, fun fact, when I get really, really old, I want to get a tattoo of a little bow on like my pinky toe or one of my toes. Don't tell my mom, she's not going to approve. So yeah, I'll do that, and then sometimes I'll do like a side break, because here's the thing, all jokes aside, and the reason why we wouldn't be able to do a proper hair tutorial because I literally don't do anything to my hair. I just wake up and I just kind of go. And if it works, it works. And if not, then it doesn't. But um, yeah, it's mostly just because I'm lazy and I just don't care to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, hair. But um, I'll do this. Like I'll do a side braid. I'll do that. And then I'll put a bow like right here or just chill. And other times, if I'm on the bus, this is what I do on the bus all the time. I'll do the messy bun thing. And on some people, the messy bun thing looks super cute and stuff. I just kind of look like a slob, but it's okay. Jeez, I look like your cafeteria later. But basically, that's, that's just what I do with my hair, and I just kind of swing it around and stuff. Yeah. All right, so after hours and hours of preparation, this is the final look. Um, see you guys out there. Here we go. For more episodes, you can subscribe to Awesomeness TV. Love you.